Welcome everybody to Real Snow presented by Next Care. I'm your host, Jack Matrani, coming at you from the epicenter of urban snowboarding, Quebec City, Canada. And for those of you who don't know what Real Snow is, let me break it down for you real quick. Six of the world's best street snowboarders paired up with a filmer of their choice to put it all on the line to create a 90 second video part, all for the most prestigious medals in the game, X Games medals. And without further ado, let me introduce you to the riders. We have Will Smith, Greg McMorris, Maria Thompson, Spencer Schubert, Anto Chamberlain, and the two-time defending gold medalist, Frank Bourgeois. And before we get into the show, here's a sneak peek of what to expect. Now that you know what Real Snow is all about, let me introduce you to the legendary panel of judges we have this year. We've got Pat Bridges, he's the gatekeeper, the heart and soul of Snowboarder Magazine. We also have the veterans, Dan Breezy and Pat Moore, who both own Real Snow gold medals. All right, judges, why don't you take us through what the judging criteria is for Real Snow? There's five different criteria. Number one, creative use of terrain and the features. That's 20%. 20% of the score is gonna come from technical ability. Amplitude and sheer gnarliness is 20%. 20% goes into filmmaking, and the overall impression is the last 20%. Thank you, judges. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's introduce you to our first rider and filmer duo. We got Will Smith and Tim Shiphorst. Will Smith, all the way from London, grew up riding on dry slope. The fact that he's in real snow is an unbelievable feat and accomplishment. Let's get to know him. Hi, I'm Will Smith. I'm 24. I'm from Bradford in England, and I grew up riding Halifax dry slope for the first three years of snowboarding before I even got to ride snow for the first time. It has its negatives but it also has its positives because from a young age you have to be able to control your snowboard to be able to turn and actually ride the slope properly. And you only have one size jump on the dry slope so to go bigger you need to pop harder. All these little techniques really help out in basics of snowboarding. I think that shaped him to be the kind of snowboarder that would do a lot of like tray finders and lines and likes to go really fast. I chose Tim to film my real snow because I've been working with him for the past few years and I really like his artistic style when it comes to the editing of the videos and his fish island work is really insane. That definitely comes in handy. <laughs> real snow enables us to do what we would do any winter anyway and that's just to go out and film and do what we love. One of the challenging things in filming a street video part is getting kicked out of a spot or there's a car in the landing or there's a busy road in the in run or whatever that is but you've got to just try and figure out a way around these issues and turn them into a positive thing and just do everything you can to make the clip happen. In the process of doing this I've made the titles for the video this year out of a uh, lino cutting and made all the stamps and the prints and then Tim put it all together into the animation so it really is a team effort making the video it's not just one snowboarder or one filmer. We really worked together on this video to make it something that we're both going to be proud of in the end. No matter what level of snowboarding you are, I want you to come away from the video and it make you want to go snowboard because that's basically what snowboarding videos are supposed to do. For me to be involved in real snow is pretty ridiculous to be honest because I remember watching it as a kid and thinking that this is something that I'm never ever ever going to be doing. So to get an email inviting me to do it is completely mind blowing. I'm just so stoked to do it and put out a video that I'm proud of and hopefully people like it. A massive thanks to Tim and everybody else that's been involved in this project. There's too many people to name, but I can't thank them enough for helping me do this because it's really been a dream. I'm Will Smith and this is my real snow.
Wow, that was truly unbelievable. Will Smith putting it down year one. Very impressed, but let's see what the judges have to say. I think overall, uh, Will's part was super unique. Everything from how nice the song and edit came together with all the motion graphics and everything to his trick selection. My favorite tricks in here were that 5-0 backside 360 out. Also the board slide through the kink where he pops over the middle kink. And then one of the tricks that kind of caught me by surprise was uh, the kind of gnarly hard way back 180 on the gap to rail. The back 150 back 3 out, switch back 3 out, that was extremely technical. Hammer shot on a pretty good sized feature. So I do think that the spots were a little small, uh, so I think that's really the only negative that I'm seeing. Thank you judges, couldn't agree more. We're gonna cut to a quick break, but when we get back, it's the real snow veteran, Anto Chamberlain. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Real Snow, presented by Next Care. It is now time to meet our next rider filmer duo. We got Anto Chamberlain and Mathieu Jibot. Anto Chamberlain, by far one of the most respected riders in Real Snow. He's won plenty of medals, but not yet secured the gold. So we know he's coming in, he's hungry, he's got style, creativity, he sends it. Judges, what can you tell me about him? Anto is one of those Real Snow stunt show. Super nice guy, he's from just outside of Montreal in Quebec, and that area has just bred amazing snowboarders over the years, and he's obviously living up to the expectations. Anto is an extremely hard worker. The dude is determined, he's focused. Anto is a fireman. You got him a slay it with the Femmes up in Montreal, you know, I mean, kind of look at him and he's a fireman, just putting it together. Not that I'm jealous or anything, yeah. My name is Anto Chamberlain. I'm from Sherbrooke and I'm 30 years old. I started snowboarding when I was 11 and I loved it because it was a way for me to skateboard in the winter. And I love that I could uh, still do rails and stuff like that in the park on my snowboard. A lot of things brought me to firefighting, but it really started at 9-11. That really got me interested into going to school and then actually make it my career. To be a firefighter at school, you have to be extremely focused. So if you want to be a professional snowboarder at the same time, you really have to work harder than everybody else. Uh, the process, in fact, is uh, three years of South. And for that, you have to pass the tests uh, of entry. Et c'est très très content d'entrer. Nous autres, on était mille dans l'année où ce que je l'ai fait, puis il y en a juste cent qui sont rentrés. Late 2000, the contest scene in Quebec was really big. So every weekend, I was doing contests. I started to film for Brothers Factory at that time. I spent really all my energy on snowboarding, but that was also a way for me to make it through every month and keep going to school. Then 2011 came, and then get a call from DC to help Aaron Bitten and Torsten Ormo to film in the Montreal streets. And those guys were really good to me, like really helping me to get my tricks. Like the teamwork, the team effort in that whole project really got me excited about filming and then about like movie projects and stuff. And that started a really good relationship with Torstein too, that he involved me in all his Shredbot projects. And that was a lot for me. I, I was able to film in so many crazy locations. <laughs> In the last few years, I've been working with Craig McMorris because of the Shredbots projects. So I come pretty much at the start of December till Christmas and then maybe one trip um, in January for the past three years. I can't think of filming without Anto. Whenever I come to Quebec and I know I'm filming with Anto, it's A grade only and uh, this place always provides. Anto always has spots and we always make it happen. I think it's really interesting after Anto does something crazy, like a massive spot, risking death, and then just goes to the fire hall, and I don't even think the guys at the station could imagine what he's actually doing. When you see Anto at Kazan, he doesn't really look at the level of difficulty he can have in snowboard, it's really impressive. It's the kind of guy you want to have with you when you're in a situation of urgency, because he's calm, he reflects. is Matt Jabot, and then uh, we've been working together for 10 years. This year we took a different approach to our real snow. Instead of just trying to get as much footage as we can, we decided to focus on specific tricks and specific spots. That approach also made us work harder to get the shots, just like that rainbow where we actually went for three days in a row to make it happen. The first day was spent to just push snow around and build the jump. 
Next day we went there, a crazy blizzard just came in, hit us really hard, so we decided to come back on the next day where we actually got the shot and the light, the light was super nice, so it was all worth the wait. We had this crazy battle with the Cat 270 on the Triple King. First day I did 48 tries. The next day we come back, do 15 tries and get a solid hit. Hit my hip super hard, thought it was over, it took 15 minutes. It took 76 tries or something like that. When Ento landed this trick, I don't think we've ever been that happy to get a shot in like 10 years of filming together. The moment you get the shot, the feeling, and then, and then you go for dinner with everybody that deserved it and then that worked so hard for your shot. The crew is everything and the crew this year was so fun. I'm Ento Chamberlain and this is my real snow park. As expected, that part was insane. You can tell Anto is gunning for the gold, but let's hear the expert analysis from the judges. I love how they open this board slide just super slow with that sunlight. This might be the gnarliest 270 ever through quad kink in the history of snowboarding. That's a cool trick. I've never seen anything like that. I love the mix of really big features, but also some of the kind of classic, like, straight down bar, uh, back to 70 was amazing. The nose crest on the green tiered rainbow. That shot's beautiful, shot well, multiple angles, amazing spot selection, crest is proper. You know, that definitely is a standout moment for me with Anto. Thank you judges for that expert opinion. We're gonna cut to a quick break, but when we get back, Craig McMorris's debut in Real Snow. Welcome back to the World of X Games Real Snow presented by Nextcare. In this next segment, we have Craig McMorris and filmer Marcus Skin. He's not only the funniest kid in the world, but he's an unbelievable snowboarder. Judges, what do you guys think about Craig? It's great to see his success in the announcing world, but I'm a fan of his snowboarding, so I'm excited to see what he puts together for Real Snow. Did I say I think his brother snowboard? Craig? Craig McMorris, do you know him? Does he have a brother? I'm Craig McMorris. I'm 27 years old from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, and I've been snowboarding for well over a decade. Being from Saskatchewan, there's not people filming all the time, there's not crews or anything like that, so the only way you can really get into snowboarding is through competition. I was lucky enough to have a friend who had a camera, Adam Burwell, and on those trips to those competitions, he would film myself and my younger brother. Moving forward from that, I was fortunate enough to meet Torstein Horgmo. He really wanted to make a movie, so thanks to Torstein because it brought me into that upper echelon of snowboard filming. I like to snowboard in the backcountry, and I like to film rails, and I like to ride park. I do like going to contests, I like watching contests, I like talking about contests, so I kind of moved into the role of commentator, and I love it so much because being relevant in all aspects of snowboarding is the most important thing to me. I've looked up to this competition forever and it's one of the most anticipated videos on the internet. 
The fact that I got to compete in it this year is really special and I had a goal. I didn't want to change my ridings. I want to be creative. I want to hit some big stuff. I want to hit some very famous spots. I want to hit some new spots. I want to do a couple tricks that nobody's ever seen before. I want to do some classic tricks. Getting asked to do Real Snow for Craig felt like a really big privilege. All of my favorite filmers have really done it. It seems like such a high pinnacle in snowboard filming world. So I was really stoked to be able to have a chance to have a crack at it. The reason we chose Eastern Canada, Quebec specifically, is A, our main man, Anto Chamberlain, is here, and B, this is famous. This is historic, historic snowboarding grounds. Always tons of snow and big urban centers. I wanted to have some spots that nobody's ever seen before and to find those you have to drive around relentlessly. It's super boring. You drive around for literally ever. In Chicoutimi, there's this cool like pulp mill. And there's this huge window that you can jump through. On the takeoff of the first one, my shoulder popped out. Pretty much just fell out of the sky onto his back. How'd it look other than that? Pretty good. Insane. <laughs> that sucked. And then all this was happening while I had to get Anto to set a timer because I had a conference call with ESPN for my X Games commenting job. The call was at one o'clock and it was 12.57. And I was like, okay, I got one more try. That one I got really, really lucky and hung off to the landing and then unstrapped my board and got on our conference call. Thank you guys. The most challenging things with filming in the streets is everything, everything about it. It's cold, it's hostile. People don't want you there. You have to find these spots. You have to build these spots. And then you have to work up the courage to hit it for the first time. Then you have to work up the courage to try the trick for the first time. And then you have to battle the trick because nine times out of 10, you're trying something that's very, very difficult for yourself. There are a million challenges when you get to a spot, but those all melt away when you ride away and watch the clip with uh, your filmer and see that's what we wanted. I really want to thank Anto Chamberlain, Matthew Bow, Ben Bullock, and especially Marcus Skin for helping me put together this X Games Real Snow. I'm Craig Morris, and this is my X Games Real Snow part. Craig, what can I say? I knew you were a good snowboarder, but I didn't know you were that good. Highly respectable, and I know behind all those lands there were some crashes. So let's see how you got through them with next pair. Morris here competing in X Games Real Snow. Uh, the only thing holding me together, next care waterproof tape and bandages. Ow! Craig, are you okay? You must be, because the next care bandages. Judges, what'd you think? Craig came out with some really, really good stuff. The opening Miller flip is just done super well. Really good style, holds a grab, stomps it out. You know, that switch 50-50 was amazing. Uh, in that hard way back 270, there's also that huge fast plant on the rail. Did a fast plant, board slide, through a kink, 
There's only a handful of guys in the world who can do that. And there's only one guy in the world that can do that. And he could call and tell the audience what that trick is on national TV. And that guy is Craig McMorris. I think the only negatives with Craig's edit was just a lot of one foot kind of use. Also, that diving board backflip. It was definitely funny and interesting. Uh, but as far as winning uh, real snow, it was it was kind of a negative. Thank you, judges. We're gonna cut to a quick commercial break, but when we get back, the first female athlete to compete in real snow, Maria Thompson. Does she have what it takes? Right after this. Welcome back to World of X Games Real Snow, presented by Nextcare. I'm your host, Jack Matrani, and this right now is the first of all firsts. We have the first ever female athlete competing with the men in real snow, Maria Thompson with her filmer, Dave Walser. Judges, what can you tell me about Maria? She is changing the game for women's jibbing right now, taking on the most physically demanding, the most terrifying, uh, the most consequential, and the least subsidized part of snowboarding. She is hands down the best thing going in women's jibbing right now, if not one of the best stories of urban snowboarding to come along in a long time. My name is Maria Thompson. I'm from Denmark, but I live in Canada. I've been filming street for five years and been snowboarding for about 10 years. I hit my first street rail thinking I could do anything on it, and I ended up just smashing my face and getting like a big cut and having to get stitches. And I was like, I don't think street is really for me. And I took a break from it for two years, and then really my first street trip was to Montreal in 2013. I just got hooked on filming and I wanted to do more street. I started filming for the Uninvited Project two years ago, and as soon as we started filming, I blew my knee like in January. So I got a brace and I filmed all of my last part without an ACL, so now I'm just gonna keep doing it. I have a four-year-old son, and he's super cool, and I love him, but it can be really tough to be away from him for long periods at a time. I miss him so much. Me and Dave head to Montreal on the 9th of December, and I'd had two days of riding before that on my board. First week, I broke my hip. I knew kind of right away, I was like, this is not good. She didn't really know if she needed to go to the hospital, like she thought maybe it was gonna die down. And then when I stood up, I just collapsed, and I was like, Oh no, I know something is not right. Something is broken. We had today, the end of January, January 31st, to film this part, and I was talking to the doctors, and they told me that I would at least be out till like the end of January. There's no way I was gonna come back. I actually went to Denver two days later on my crutches because I was up for a video part of the year. I won best part of the year that night. I better thank Jessica Murray for doing this video project and leaving with me after I blew my knee. Thank you, Transworld, for having me. Thank you. I was so happy, but I just knew I had to get back and like get in my rehab zone. As soon as I could start moving a bit, I started doing yoga, and yoga is like, I feel like that helps me with any injury. Like, I just did yoga like all the time, all day, just to like get it moving, and, and it worked. I can suddenly just start walking slowly again, and just every day was like progressing. She called me and was like, yeah, like, I think I want a board. Like, I'm gonna just try one time. And I was obviously super excited. I was like, yes, like, this could be it. We could be back. As soon as I knew I could be on my board, I knew I could do it. I'm so stoked right now. A little sore. So coming back and filming more shot has been a bit of a struggle. And like, I was really happy to be on my board again, but it's also, I'm not, 100% and I'm feeling a little bit weak so in some ways I have to take precautions. I don't want to re-hurt myself so I've been having to take it a little more mellow than, than usual. At the same time I'm just appreciating that I can be here filming and actually just being on my snowboard. Being an only girl in a contest with all the guys, I'm honored and also like a little bit scared. I'm invited because I am who I am and I just need to do what I do. Like, I can't compare myself to, to Frank or Anto or anyone else, really. That's the way I've snowboarded and the way I have fun snowboarding, too, and that's what I want to show people. I just want to say thanks to Dave Walser for helping me make this part. Really appreciate it, and I'm so thankful you could help me. My name is Maria Thompson. This is my real snow part. I hope you like it.
Let me just say that I had high expectations and Maria far exceeded them. Honestly, to break your hip and come back and put together a part like that, that is huge for women's snowboarding. Meanwhile, raising a four-year-old child, that was so insane. Congratulations, Maria. Way to step up to the plate. Judges, would love to hear your thoughts. She just stomps her tricks. To me, I just love that. I think it just shows that she's riding with confidence and strength. This is a rare contest where you have a girl competing directly against the guys and you know, for what she had and, and what she had to work with with having a broken hip, I mean, she did a phenomenal job and something to be really proud of. I gave Maria's part the highest marks for overall impression just because I, looking at what she accomplished and what impact that is actually going to have on the sport of snowboarding. And that opening trick, the 50-50 to front board, the way she came around the seat and stomped it all the way at the end, it was just a good way to open the park. And then her ender shot, the switch front board uh, pretzel on that closeout rail was, that was pretty heavy. To me, that was one of the gnarliest tricks in the whole competition. There's so much opportunity for people to be inspired by this. And ultimately, that's what a pro snowboarder's gotta do. Thank you, judges. We're gonna cut to a quick break, but when we get back, it's the two-time defending gold medalist, Frank Bourgeois. Does he have what it takes to go three for three? Right after this. Welcome back to Real Snow, presented by Next Gear. I'm your host, Jack Matrani, and this next rider filmer duo is by far the most highly anticipated, the double defending gold medalist, Frank Bourgeois, and filmers Will and Charles Deemers. This has never been done. To go three in a row is unheard of. Judges, what do you think? This guy is, he is hardwired differently than most. He's not doing it necessarily for the paycheck. His drive is different. He's challenging himself to see what he's really got inside. I have a lot of expectations for what I'm about to see here. I'm Frank Bourgeois, 28 years old, from uh, 12 Yard, Quebec, Canada. I would love to have three gold medals in a row, but uh, I'm just down with giving a video that I'll be proud of. If you don't put too much pressure on yourself and you, you do what you like to do and like stuff that you want to ride, it's good. It flows like a river, you know? So Will and Charles are true to this. You can count it on uh, your fingers, you know, the real friends. They are part of it for sure. Frank is a close friend and he's gonna stay my friend all my life. So I said to Charles, we have to do everything we have for another year with Frank. We met Frank Bourgeois like 10 years ago and he fit in our family. We never stopped filming together, it's so fun. <laughs> So yeah, real snow, it's been a hard year for me. December 15, I did like a front board transfer backflip, like flat ledge to down rail. After that, I was like, okay, I need like a switch a trick. First hit uh, that I hit it switch, I just hooked on the first ledge and then I died. Ah! Everything stopped. Leave the camera there and start running. I hit my lower back and then did full, uh, like a full scorpion. I was thinking he's gonna be paralyzed. Jacko was there, he was crying. I wasn't sure what we should do now. I see his back making something not supposed to. We didn't take any chance and we called the ambulance. I thought that my back was broke and uh, I started like shaking. I see in his eyes that maybe he's not gonna walk. Ever, you know. So I was like, why are we doing that? And a lot of questions we have. I got pretty lucky on that one. Uh, my back wasn't broke. So that was a pretty long time, but he do what he have to do to come back and come back strong. Pain is a state of mind. I will send it no matter what. Sometimes we, we ride some stuff that I don't even know if it's gonna be possible. We went to uh, Quebec City to hit that red pillow thing. But yeah, second try, I was uh, not going fast enough. And I hit it pretty hard and then fell on the ground. And then Will was like, let's put the winch farther. You need more speed, you need more speed. I was like, Will, I'm scared. I can't go faster for sure. The third try, I just put my brain off and I went full speed and I did the whole thing. Even myself, I'm like, whoa, I will never do that again. That's what I like about it. My mom, she's pretty down with snowboarding. Francis a commencé le snow à l'âge de 5 ans. Je suis vraiment heureuse pour mon fils parce qu'il s'est rendu aux X Games puis il a été champion à deux reprises des X Games. J'en suis vraiment fière. Uh, yeah, she thinks I'm crazy sometimes, but she, she's a really proud mom. I have one older brother. He's in charge of 
making the, the sound and music for me for a real snow part. When I write uh, a song for my brother, I always try to think about what surrounds him as he shoots, uh, the structures of the buildings he rides on, on the rails, so industrial like psh, sounds, and so I always try to incorporate that. I always also think about the weather. Winter is cold, so I want the sound and the song to sound cold, you know, so I go in more like dark, post-punk type of vibes. I couldn't ask for anything better than that. I would like to thank uh, Will and Charles for all those years where living a dream, you know. I will remember this all my life for sure. Hey, my name is Frank Bourgeois and this is my real snow park. That was by far the best real snow part I've ever seen. I mean, so much respect for anyone that can almost break their back and then find the courage to come back and put together a part like that. Much respect, Frank, Will, Charles. Judges, what do you guys think? Dude, Frank's part was phenomenal. I mean, the features he found, the tricks he chose, so next level. It's not a question of will this win, it's is this guy like human? <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. I'm watching this part and I'm thinking to myself, every clip could be an opener or an ender of somebody else's part. And I'm not just saying season it. So I'm saying legit video parts, every single shot could be an opener and ender. And that's how Frank's always been. He's never had a part that came out where you're like, ah, that shot probably shouldn't have been in there. They're all at that level where you're like, that's a hammer, that's a hammer, that's a hammer. He's not just going big and doing the same tricks over and over again. He's you know, creating tricks as he goes. That's all, Frank. You did it again. Thank you, judges. We're gonna cut to a quick break, but when we get back, it's the final part. Spencer Schubert and the results. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Real Snow, presented by Next Care. I'm your host, Jack Matrani, and I could not be more excited about this final part before we see who the winner is. We got Spencer Schubert, Ben Billadu. Spencer, who got in on a wild card, one of the coolest cats around, so good on the rails, super smooth, super stylish. Judges, what do you think? It's been amazing to see Spencer coming up in the snowboard world. He's doing gnarly tricks, he's filming great edits, and he's having fun while he's doing it, and I think that's the spirit of snowboarding. He's the face of that next generation of snowboarding, and he's just that classic snowboarding spirit that puts an emphasis on what's proper, what's legit, what's good style. Hey, my name's Spencer Schubert. I'm 26 years old, and I'm from Bend, Oregon. I grew up riding Mount Bachelor, and there's a ton of really cool natural terrain there. So I really should be a full-time backcountry boarder. But I really like snowboarding in the streets because you can snowboard on almost anything and get as creative as you want. So it's really rewarding in that sense. When I got asked to do real snow as a replacement, I got asked on January 9th, which only gave me about three weeks to film. I didn't really have that much time. Ben and I came up with the concept of just doing it at the rail gardens. There's so many features there, and it's such an iconic place that we figured we could fill the whole 90 seconds just in that park. So Spencer hit me up, let me know he's doing the X Games, and uh, 
didn't even have a camera, so I told him to head to my house and dig through my office, see what he could find. I had an extra lens there that I kind of keep as a backup, and uh, I told him to break the camera if you need to, but uh, keep the lens clean. You got a camera wipe, Ted? It's really cool for me to be involved with Real Snow because I never picked up a camera until it started. What we wanted to do was just focus on lines and film with the fisheye and follow cams to give it kind of a bit of a skateboard influence vibe. Ben hasn't really filmed that much, but he's a really good snowboarder. So I was confident that he could pull off the lines and be able to follow me close. And it was a bit of a learning curve for both of us, but he did a really good job and it was super fun. Spencer's a very technical rider. All you really have to do to show that is keep him in the frame. Part of the concept with this part was to do everything with natural speed. I thought it'd be cool to have a more relatable approach to the real snow with it being that you could just go out, ride down a hill, jump on a rail, and ride away. If you can take anything from our video, I would want it to be that you can do great, inspiring snowboarding and it doesn't have to be death-defying. I want to dedicate my real snow to Dylan Ojo, a good friend of mine and an icon in the snowboard industry who untimely passed away this summer. I'm Spencer Schubert and this is my real snow. Wow, Spencer, that was truly unbelievable. In the short amount of time that you had to put that together, I'm seriously impressed. Judges, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I love that it's at Rail Gardens. It's a real, you know, homage to the snowboarding and the history of snowboarding. Without the rail gardens, it's arguable that we wouldn't have a real snow. The line where he hits five rails in a row with all those tricks is super impressive. That hard way back 180 to switch press was amazing. His switch back lip pretzel was amazing. I know Spencer could do so much more. I mean, it's not that he didn't produce amazing stuff, but snowboarding itself in many ways has outgrown the rail gun. All right, judges, now that we've seen all the parts, we'd love to hear your final thoughts before we get into the voting. I'm having a hard time really coming down to a winner basically between Frank and Anto. For me, I mean, the contest for gold was really between Anto and Frank. These guys are putting more rest, more effort into what they're putting in the camera than anybody else. That's their lane. A lot of these competitors got hurt, such as Frank, he almost broke his back. Maria broke her hip. And Spencer got in on a wild card because another rider got injured. So it's just so much respect to everything that they're doing. Alrighty, thank you for the final thoughts, judges. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to vote? Yeah, this has been a really challenging year to judge real snow, but after a deep dive, my votes are in. I'm done. And send. The judges have voted, the tallies are in, and I could not be more excited to present the bronze medal to Craig McMorris and Marcus Skin. The silver medal, so close to gold. Anto Chamberlain and Natu Jibo. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the unprecedented 3 P. History has been made here today. Congratulations, 
Frank Courgeois, Will and Charles Demers. What a massive accomplishment. And now in true X Games fashion, it's time to go surprise them with the gold medal. All right, we're here at Will's house right now. Frank is moments away from pulling up to the surprise of a lifetime. We got his friends, family, X Games royalty here, checking to see if he's gonna pull up. What are you guys seeing out there? I don't know, snow bag. <laughs> a lot of snow, that's a good sign. All right, we're moments away. Stay tuned. The world's biggest action sports festival returns to the land of 10,000 lakes. X Games Minneapolis, August 1st through 4th. Get your tickets now at xgames.com slash tickets. Yeah! <laughs> You literally just made history. I mean, how much went into it as a crew to get three gold medals in a row? We worked pretty hard. It was pretty uh, intense, pretty fun, uh, like always. Uh, some up moments, some down moments, but uh, at the end, uh, it's going to out pretty well. I'm pretty happy. What's it going to take to get another one after this part? I mean, how do you even get any better than that? <laughs> uh, I don't think about it right now. Maybe time for dinner. Yeah. Huge congratulations to this guy right here, Frank, Will, Charles. Congratulations to all the riders, all the filmers. That's it. That's a wrap. Hold well on. <laughs>